weather. It's a term that students are familiar with when it comes to the atmosphere. However, we also use the term weather and weathering when we're talking about rocks. When a rock weathers, it breaks down. In other words, it goes into smaller pieces. Now, weathering can be chemical in nature. Chemicals like acids can get in there and break down the rock structure, creating smaller particles. But it can also be caused by physical processes. And that's what this activity is all about. For this activity, we're gonna need the following materials. Sidewalk chalk, get a whole bunch of different colors. It'll be fun, you'll be able to make layers of chalk material. Plus, you're also going to need salt. Regular grocery store salt works great for this. In addition, you'll need a container with a lid that can be screwed on tightly, plus several smaller containers in which we'll place the products of our shake up. And also, since we're gonna be shaking things up, we need protective glasses. Okay, here's what you need to do. First, you need to take some pieces of chalk, and I've already broken that chalk up into smaller pieces right here, and we'll place those pieces of chalk into our container. Next, we need to add some salt. So we're gonna take some salt, add some salt to it, just like that. Then, we're gonna seal the container like this, and then we shake it up. Kids love this activity. I love this activity. Okay, now that we're done, let's take a look. See what we've got here. Look at that. The mixture has turned blue in color. The salt weathered the softer chalk material, and now the salt has taken on that blue appearance. So next, we're going to pour the salt from here into a small cup. We'll try and leave the big pieces of chalk behind and just let the salt go in there. And here is what we've produced. Very cool. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing, except we're going to use red chalk and green chalk. Okay, so sit back while I shake it up. Ta-da! Three colors of weathered material. Great. Now, the activity isn't over. What we're going to do next is show how these materials can form layers, which will later change into sedimentary rock. So let's imagine that this blue material is on the bottom. Next, we're going to add the particles from the salt and red chalk. Look at that. forming a second layer on top of the first. And we can see that there's a two layer system here. And then we're going to add the green on top of that one. And look at that, we have blue, red, and green. What a great way for you to model not only the physical process of weathering, but also the formation of sediments into layers, which will later change into sedimentary rock.